Well, Anthony Davis delivered some comments after the Los Angeles Lakers lost to the Denver Nuggets on Sunday. He said, I think the biggest thing that I feel about personally is what we could have been had we all stayed healthy all year. What could we have been? Guys feel like, okay, what could we have been if, if I was healthy all year? LeBron was healthy all year. Kendrick Nunn was healthy. If you think about those things, we put this damn team together, and it looked good on paper, but we haven't had a chance to reach the potential with guys in and out of our lineup. So the most frustrating part of the season is not being sure of what we could have been. That is from the desk of Anthony Davis. The Los Angeles Lakers lost to the Denver Nuggets 129-118. Their hopes of making the playoffs are fleeing. Matter of fact, not even the playoffs to play in tournament. Um, and I'm going to be fair with you guys. The Lakers have lost six games in a row. They're like 31-47. and 47. They don't deserve to be in the playoffs. They're awful. They're awful. Anthony Davis said he could think about what could have been. Hell, I could have said the same thing last year. You know, the Lakers were up two games to one on the Phoenix Suns. Anthony Davis couldn't stay healthy after he couldn't stay healthy in the regular season. I'm watching the Lakers against the Denver Nuggets on Sunday. Anthony Davis just got back from missing like a month. Fam, he got hurt again. In that game, he got hurt again. Now, he stayed in the game, but there have been a lot of times where AD will get hurt in a game, finish the game, and then miss the next two, three, four weeks even. I have seen Anthony Davis pretty much get hurt every which way over the last couple of years. It's unreal how much Anthony Davis has gotten hurt. He can't put together three games without getting hurt. I, I, I don't know what the brother's doing wrong. I don't get it. I don't get it. You, you know, I, did not, I went to school and I studied journalism. I didn't, a lot of my friends have uh, degrees and um, physical therapy, kinesiology, is, you know, a lot of my friends got, I don't know the body like they do. You got to go talk to them. I don't understand what's going on with Anthony Davis. I'm lost, dumbfounded. I don't even like Anthony Davis in the post-game presser saying a lot of guys think about what we could have been, you know, if, if I were healthy, if LeBron were healthy, if Kendrick Nunn, hold on, hold on, don't put them in this. Kendrick Nunn makes $5.5 million a year. All right, he was expected to be a backup point guard, maybe a starter, if Russell Westbrook was really bad. Let's not put Kendrick Nunn in this. This is his first season in L.A. He doesn't make the max contract to play basketball for the Lakers. LeBron has been injured. But I would argue this to in defense of LeBron. He's been healthy enough at this point in his career. He's in year 19. You should be able to put that monkey on your back, Anthony Davis. LeBron shouldn't have to do that at this point in his career. It should be about you. He wanted to pass you the torch after y'all won, y'all won the championship in the bubble. I'm watching the Lakers play Denver, and it was so sad to me. LeBron's on the bench. He didn't play. I'm looking at him like, damn. The brother, if he could have been able to rest more in season, and, you know, take care of his body with, like, a, a miss a game, like, once every five or six games. What could have been? What could have been for LeBron's body? He couldn't do that because the Lakers needed him because Anthony Davis can't stay healthy. And when he does get out there, he can't win games anymore. The Lakers lost that game to Denver. So I'm watching LeBron on the bench. That's sad enough. Then I'm looking on the court, y'all. Anthony Davis is getting worked by Nikola Jokic. Worked in that second half. And you know, to be fair, AD had his moments where he went back at the joke. I want to be fair to AD. But Jokic ain't getting, he ain't limping up and down the court. Like, AD is, like, limping to the finish line after missing a month. He's only 28. Like, Nikola Jokic is bigger. I'm talking about, like, from a weight standpoint. He weighs more than AD. When he got into the league, he was in a lot worse shape than what AD was. When he got into the league, Jokic has made the sacrifices to his body, and now he's become not only the MVP of the league, he's one of the most durable athletes. He doesn't even miss games like that for Denver. Look at the Nuggets. They're down Jamal Murray. They're down Michael Porter Jr. Pretty much they've both been out all year. Michael Porter Jr. has been out most of the season. Jamal has been out all year. They might not come back, but Nikola Jokic pretty much on his own has gotten his team in the playoff contention. Pretty much on his own. He's had guys step up here and there, but the one consistent is him as he beats AD head-to-head. Like, AD can't get the Lakers no wins with what you, whatever you think about Russell Westbrook. 
at least he's there every night, if nothing else. And Malik Monk is good enough to win regular season games. If Nikola Jokic can win regular season games with Bones Highland and Will Barton, you, you should be able to beat teams with Russell Westbrook, Dwight Howard, and Malik Monk. I'm not, I'm not saying you got to beat Phoenix with them. You should be able to win regular season games if you got Anthony Davis. That's not happening. The Lakers ain't even, ain't even able to beat the Pelicans right now. So, watching Jokic get the better of AD with a team worse than what AD has, as I look on that Lakers side of the court, not only does Anthony Davis play with LeBron James, to me the most durable athlete in the history of, of, of league his, history, two other guys I look at and look at the phenomenal shape that they're in. The aforementioned Russell Westbrook, and how about Dwight Howard? You know, Dwight, you can say what you want about his game today. Is he playing at the defensive player of the year level, the MVP candidate level? No. But look at his body. He looks phenomenal in his mid-30s. Like, what is he doing that Anthony Davis can't do or doesn't want to do? Russell Westbrook. That, there's a lot of miles on that body. He's the only guy out there pretty much every night for the Lakers. To see a talent like Anthony Davis get wasted in street clothes, if that's how he want to rock out, that's his business. He's rich. He's wealthy. He's successful. He's a champion. You can't take none of those things away from him. But you got LeBron James on the back end of his prime, a championship caliber coach in Frank Vogel. You got the Lakers jersey on, a fan base that loves their team. Malik Monk, who's a pretty darn good piece, a couple other pretty darn good pieces. Granted, you got some bad ones, but you got enough to win some games. I don't want to hear Anthony Davis blame Kendrick Nunn, blame LeBron James. No, my friend, this season for me, this is Pharaoh talking, will be once again characterized by Anthony Davis' inability to stay healthy. That's it. I ain't talking about no Russell Westbrook. I'm not talking about no Carmelo Anthony. I'm not talking about no Austin Reeves. I'm not talking about no Kendrick Nunn. And I'm not talking about one of the greatest players ever in LeBron James. I'm talking about Anthony Davis.